Hello friends, nice to see you here today. I'm shooting from a rainy, cloudy Denmark. But anyways, it's supposed to be summer. But anyways, um, today we're going to make some uh, creative, beautiful cards that you can use for any occasion. But let me just show you. Ta-da! Here they are. So pretty, I think. And here's the list for things we're going to use to make these cards. And here we go. You can paint anything you like. I'm very inspired by nature, so I, I love leaf shapes and round shapes. So that's what I do. But you can do triangles and uh, squares and whatever you prefer. Um, it's completely up to you and that would make it a very personal card um, yeah so i just go ahead and paint and i do some dots and some swirls around um, and you're very you're very welcome that's very hard to say <laughs> You're welcome to do the same as I do uh, if you're new to this and just want to follow the video along, so that's okay. And what we're doing here is just uh, filling the page with different shapes and and yeah, just make a lot of uh, things going on on the page. Um, and it's up to you how much white you want uh, in your painting. But uh, remember, we have to cut it into four squares when we're finished. So. Um, it's nice to just take a look and see where do I think uh, there needs, needs to be something here and what will I, is there a place where there's too much white and um, then you fill some in there and just uh, change between the colors um, and you know put uh, the colors all over the, pa uh, all over the page. Um, so there won't be just one color in one corner and another color in another corner because they're so pretty together so um, all four cards when you're finished uh, should have all colors in it in my opinion you can do whatever you like but that's just my opinion And this uh, stage, filling the page with a lot of colors, is only the first stage because afterwards, after everything is dried, we're going to do some doodling. And that's, in my opinion, the very fun part of it, <laughs> where you can get really creative with what you do. But yeah, so lots of fun ahead of you. And um, the colors I'm using are called White Nights. Um, and they, I, I, I like them a lot because they got a lot of pigment in them, I think. 
and that's the difference between cheap watercolors and more expensive ones is that the more expensive ones has more pigment in it and and sometimes when you see others paint with these bright shining beautiful colors you want to do the same and then you just think it's impossible with these watercolors I got. I, I tried that out with some watercolors I had and that was just because there was not enough pigment in them. So it's hard to get the bright colors. And here you can see I got some gold. I love to put gold and shiny stuff in this too because it looks so pretty when the card is finished. So. I just put it in randomly where I think it would look nice. Here I put it into the leaves. Um, like an extra little leaf inside the big leaf. So, but you go ahead and put it where you like. And afterwards you can also find your gold pen and do some more. So, this uh, Gold is like a more see-through gold, where, but when you use the pen, it's more opaque, I would say. So, and now I put in some dots because I think something should happen in something more should happen in the painting, and I want to fill in some of all the white uh, spots in the painting. And in a minute, when I have finished this first stage, uh, it's time to let everything dry completely before you can start the doodling part. So that's a good opportunity to grab yourself a cup of coffee. And please, if you enjoy this video so far, please leave me a like and perhaps a comment downstairs. And let's go on with it. This is just to show you another card I made and some of the things I have been doodling on those. And you can get inspired by this if you like. Or you can do your own imaginary things. <laughs> Here I put in, I made something look like uh, candle lights and yeah. But let's start. And here I'm putting in some uh, thin lines around the flowery watercolor thing I made before. And I can show you here. And I do it around all of these that looks like that. And now I grab my white pen and I do some dots in the middle of the flower. And I, yeah, I zoomed in a bit so you can see better. And I do this on all of those who look like this.
and here I'm making a lot of small circles very close together. And now I draw in between all the circles and I repeat this uh, on every flower that looks like this uh, on the rest of the page. And here I draw a circle around the blue dots. And I do this on all of the dots on the page. And this is a gold gel pen. And this is a quite see-through actually. <laughs> Now I said earlier that the, the gold uh, I would use later would be more opaque, but this is not very opaque, so uh, it gives a very delicate look, I think. And here I got the more opaque gold pens and you can use either. They are both uh, very good at doing the job, I think. So don't run out and buy <laughs> everything I use here. Just use what you have. And here I'm making small dots in the leaves and I'm using a pen with a thick uh, point. I just go around the page and see where I think I need to do some doodling and I just fill in spaces with different shapes and round shapes and leaf shapes and yeah just 
Use your imagination. These are small gold dots, just to fill in some of the white on the page. Now it's time to remove the masking tape. I always use a hairdryer because uh, the paper most likely won't tear. So that's a good idea. And now we are going to make some cards. We are going to uh, put the drawing on. Uh, and if you pause the video, you can see the measurements I put on the card. Uh, 21 times 15 centimeters and now we are going to cut up the painting we just made and I've cut up off all the sides where the masking tape was and then I cut it into four pieces like this And this is just to show you another solution for a, for your cards. You can buy one of these or make them yourself uh, and put it inside of those. That looks nice too. Then your painting got like a frame around it. That's very pretty too, I think. And you can also do that yourself in lots of different colors, whatever you prefer. And this is just to show you how you can make your own cards to put your painting on. And uh, it's half, uh, half size A4. Uh, and then you just bend it in the middle and you got a card to put your painting on. And now you have to glue your painting to the card. I got this scrapbook uh, glue thing. I don't know what's it, what it's called, but uh, you can see uh, it got it, it glues on both 
sides so and that's very useful when you're making these cards and it actually holds them very well so i can recommend that uh, tape that glues on both sides and now i'm just measuring where to put the card uh, and i put my finger behind so it won't glue at the beginning to start with um, and that helps me eyeballing where to put it <laughs> so remember to write your name on it and there you go the beautiful finished cards i really hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe and like and leave a comment if you have wishes for further videos um, i will read all of them thank you very much for watching hello friends nice to see you here today i'm shooting from a uh,